Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.4. This is of course the last update that Apple has released to iOS 15 and what it looked like to be an amazing update. It turns out it has a few problems. Now another problem that I found is that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you do that before leaving this video. Now let me show you guys what are the problems with iOS 15.4 point four how you can avoid them and if you have iOS 15.4 how to fix those problems for your device now first of all we're talking about the latest update that Apple did with iOS 15.4 and that was releasing the new feature that Apple actually talked about at WWDC 2021 and that was the ability to add your driver's license or your state ID to the wallet app on your iPhone now that has been released even though it wasn't initially with iOS 15.4 they released it later and it's here so this is basically the last big feature that Apple has shown before for iOS 15 and it has been released just now so this will basically mark the end of iOS 15 and of course we're not getting any big new features with iOS 15 in the future because of course we have iOS 16 beta coming really really soon in like two months now we will see the first beta of iOS 16 so with the release of the feature where you add the driver's license or your state ID to the wallet app this marks again the end of iOS 15 so when the new updates for iOS 15 come hopefully they will fix the problems with what we have right now with iOS 15.4 but of course don't expect to see any big new features on iOS 15. Now there will be some bugs that you will find on iOS 15 and of course some of the worst ones that I've been able to found and I actually experienced on my device is on the health app if you go to the health app the search is broken so you can search for anything here and it won't show any result at all as you can see right here just doesn't work another problem that many people are having with the health app is that the health app data are not backing up to iCloud this is another problem a lot of iOS 15.4 users actually are seeing on iOS 15.4 now in my experience I actually had quite a good experience with iOS 15.4 even of course on beta since beta 1 but once it got released to the masses of course the problems have been discovered by a lot a lot of users so we're going to talk about two major ones in just a few seconds here let me show you guys another bug that's actually really annoying and that is of course the famous storage bug on iOS 15. Now this has been around since iOS 15 has been released and it looked like it was finally fixed with iOS 15.4 beta 4 but now it just keeps coming back again so anytime you go here this will take like quite a lot of time to actually load that will happen every now and then so sometimes it takes a few seconds sometimes it will take minutes and sometimes this won't even load at all now of course this will be different on different devices maybe even based on how much of the storage you have used on your device but it's actually a problem that is affecting a lot of iOS 15 users now another one that I've seen that a lot of people are facing I've seen this bug I didn't experience it myself I've seen this on iOS beta on reddit and a lot of users actually can this bug is the ability to actually turn on the alarms but they will turn off automatically that's really really annoying and I've seen users there that are facing this problem they try to actually delete all the alarms and create them again or reboot the device it didn't fix the problem the problem will keep coming back this might be on device basis of course not a, actually not all the users are experiencing this but it's actually quite frustrating having your alarms turn off automatically of course you're going to miss important things so hopefully that will be fixed with a new update as i said at the beginning once i have used ios 15.4 on beta i was really satisfied with the update of course it has amazing new features but battery life was actually quite good as well and in my experience battery life also has been good with the public release of ios 15.4 so of course it's not the best ever but in my case here it's better than ios 15.3 and i had quite good battery life on ios 15.4 especially since beta 5. you can take a look here the battery health is actually at 92 percent and we're getting quite good battery lives right here so you can see 
eight hours on screen or right there you can see here we have six we have seven almost eight right here but this is actually an issue that a lot of people are facing again once a release goes out to the public and of course millions and millions of users use the software that way you know what the issues are with the software now this has been a bug basically battery drain that has affected a lot of people apple actually responded to a user on twitter and they said that it is normal for apps and features to need to adjust to up to 48 hours after an update it should actually take a few hours for that but according to apple on twitter they should actually have 48 hours to, uh, to adjust to the update that you have done to your iphone but a lot of users are actually complaining about this even after updating their device to iOS 15.4 and using it for more than three or four days, they still have this battery drain bug, which is actually really, really annoying. I've seen reports of people with iPhone 13 Pro Maxes that are not getting through the day with battery on iOS 15.4. Hopefully that should be fixed soon and I believe Apple should release like a smaller update to iOS 15.4 to actually fix that bug. And also a lot of a lot of people have noted that their device are running really really hot while using them, basically overheating while using the device, not charging, but while using the device. That's really, really annoying. So if you're experiencing these problems like a lot of people do, there are of course a few things that you can do to just help make these better and of course wait for an update from Apple. Now the first thing you want to do if your the battery is draining is of course check your settings and see how you can help your iPhone get better battery life. There are a few really important things that you should do first of all always make sure that you have optimized battery charging turned on that's really really important go to your privacy settings go to your location if you have locations turned on all the time check the apps here that are using lo your location see which apps are using your location all the time and if you don't need those apps to use your location all the time make sure you go ahead and turn that off because of course location services is one of the worst battery drainers of your iphone make sure you also check the apps that are running in the background go to general and go to background app refresh and see here a list of apps which are running in the background there are apps of course you will need to run in the background you have to leave them on there's nothing you can do about it but make sure that you have most of these turned off because a lot of apps you don't actually need to be refreshing in the background now another thing i would suggest people do is delete apps that you don't need on your device now even if you have notifications turned off or location services turned off for a few apps they will still basically use cpu power and that way battery as well on your device they will show on suggestions send you notifications and all that stuff so make sure you go ahead and delete the apps that you don't need or even just turn on right here upload unused apps that way the apps that you haven't used for a long time will automatically be removed from your device you can install them later and of course still have all the data there of the apps that's the upload unused app feature which is really good actually and i suggest you use it all the time another thing of course it has a huge impact on the battery life of your iphone is notifications so go to notifications and make sure you have these configured how they should be there are of course a ton of apps that you won't need notifications from go to those apps and make sure you have turned off notifications or just send them to the scheduled summary and if you have scheduled summary enabled of course make sure that you actually choose two maybe three times when the notifications will come and not add like a lot of notification summaries right there so make sure you do this this should help with the battery life of your iphone and there are of course the reports that devices are overheating running really hot while using them on ios 15.4 now the first thing i would suggest you do is reboot your device every once in a while volume up volume down and then hold the side button until you see the apple logo and of course then release that will do like a force reboot your device and maybe help it run smoother if your device is overheating make sure you don't use like heavy apps on your device while it's heated because the cpu is being used a lot that's why your device is heating or maybe even from the battery so if you have like heavy graphics games or like apps that require a lot of cpu power make sure you actually avoid using those apps or games 
while your device is hot. Or if you see your device getting really, really hot, stop using those apps for some time. Again, I know this is not some, something you want to do, but we will have to wait for an update from Apple in order for these problems to be fixed, which are actually affecting a lot of iOS 15.4 users. As I said again and again, there should be an update from Apple. Seeing all these reports from a lot of iOS 15.4 users, we should see a small update to iOS 15.4. Of course, iOS 15.4.1 getting released pretty, pretty soon. I wouldn't be surprised if that will happen this week because a lot of people are reporting this. Apple knows about these problems with the battery and overheating and I would expect Apple to actually release iOS 15.4.1 as soon as this week to fix these problems. That should be really, really good. And of course, if we get that update and you're having these problems, make sure you go ahead and update as soon as possible. And another release that should happen really soon is iOS 15.5 beta one. We expected actually that to happen last week. It didn't happen, even though of course, with the release of the new driver's license feature on the wallet app, there are no features left for iOS 15.5, but it should be a smaller update just like iOS 15.3 was. Maybe we'll have a small few changes, but it will most likely be focused more on fixes and improvements and things like that. Of course, iOS 15.5, iOS 15 actually is over now. We're waiting for iOS 16 beta one, so don't expect any big new features with the release of iOS 15.5. As said, again, I expect Apple to release the first beta of iOS 15.5 this week, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday should be one of the days when Apple will, will release iOS 15.5 to the devs. And of course, probably a day or two later, we should also get the public beta of iOS 15.5. And as a conclusion, if you're an iOS 15.4 user, take a look at this video. Those tips that I showed you guys, those are the best things that you can do in order to use your device on iOS 15.4 until we get a new update from Apple to fix those problems. If you're on iOS 15.3 or iOS 15.3.1, make sure that you don't update to iOS 15.4 yet. Wait for an update from Apple. Of course, iOS 15.4.1 should be just around the corner and that's when you can update to iOS 15.4.1. I know this update has quite a lot of exciting features that a lot of people actually wanna use and they will update to, to iOS 15.4. And even by seeing the reviews of iOS 15.4 on YouTube, you will see that it's a great update, but again, nothing is as good as when a, the, an, a, actually an update gets released to the public. The betas won't just make gestures because there are just a few people testing the software. And when it gets released to millions of people, that's why when we see the huge bugs and of course the Im impact that this update will have on most devices. So again, the conclusion, wait for iOS 15.4.1 if you haven't updated yet to iOS 15.4. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like on this one. And I'll see you on the next video.